Welcome back, everybody, to the Meeple Marathon and Guardians of the Galaxy Week. Uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at the Guardians of the Galaxy expansion for Marvel Legendary. Now, this is not a new expansion by any means. Uh, it is new to my collection, however, and it is, uh, according to the fans, one of the best expansions you can purchase for um, Marvel Legendary and it is uh, was sent through a reprint recently so you can find copies new copies online without having to pay scalper prices but i wouldn't wait too long if this is something you are interested in because i'm sure they will disappear eventually and then you're either paying scalper prices or waiting for upper deck to reprint it again so let's take a look at some of the cards and then we'll play a game so uh this is you know one of the small box expansions for the game. Uh, this one actually comes with tokens for the first time. <clears throat> Slide these out of here. All right, so let's just take a look at the rules real quick. Um, so this one features the Infinity Gauntlet, which is interesting that we just featured the Infinity Gauntlet recently on the channel as far as Marvel United was concerned. Um, so this has the Shard tokens. Uh, these tokens can be gained by players, villains, and masterminds from the supply. If a shard would be gained, but there are none left, uh, when you gain a shard, put it in front of you. You can spend a shard to get plus one. If you don't use a shard immediately, uh, you can keep it for future use later. So that's nice. Um, and it basically covers that along with artifacts. Um, artifacts we've seen in the Thor expansion, which are cards that are actually going to stay out in front of you. I believe that Guardians of the Galaxy was the first one, and then there's actually Infinity Gems too, uh, was the first expansion to uh, implement artifacts. So there are these various colored um shards here uh, that are also in the same colors as the infinity stones and there are numbers on the back so i'm not really sure what the various numbers are used for um and we'll have to find a place to store those let's take a look at uh some of the cards now So first up, it looks like we have Drax the Destroyer here. This is his kind of ultimate card. Uh, double, double the attack you have. So there actually is no attack printed on the card. It just doubles the attack. So I guess that, that could be pretty good. Um, each other player reveals a uh, that symbol. Or discards an artifact they control for each artifact discarded this way you gain a shard hmm. look at the top card of your deck discard it or put it back you may ko this card ko the card you discarded this way so he's about culling your deck it helps you call your deck lots of those uh, and then knives of the hunter once per turn you get plus one Artifact. Okay, so this is an artifact that would go out in front of you. Um, there's actually five of those. All right, so not a whole lot to his deck. I wonder if there's more cards hiding somewhere. Uh, next up we have Gamora. All right. Here is Gamora's ultimate card. Once per turn, gain two shards. Once per turn, you may spend five shards to get ten plus ten. Wow, now that... As an awesome card. Um, Galactic Assassin, a villain of your choice, gets no attack from shards this turn. If you got two of those, the Mastermind gets no attacks from shards. Okay. So that's all Galactic Assassin. And then we have Bounty Hunter. Her and her sister. Uh, villain gets a shard. Interesting. Okay. So you get to recruit but you have to give a villain a shard uh, and deadliest one in the universe gain two shards gain another shard okay so lots of gathering of shards in this expansion 
Next up is Groot. Here we have his ultimate card. When you recruit when you recruit your next hero this turn, you gain shards equal to that hero's cost. Okay, plus five recruit. Put Groot there. Then we have Groot, Groot and Branches. Gain two shards. You may spend shards to get recruit this turn. You choose another player, that player gains a shard. Okay, not a whole lot of printed attack on any of these. Here's one finally with some attack printed on it. You may KO a card from your hand or discard pile if you do gain a shard. And surviving sprig, there's one attack. Um, when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw an extra card. Okay. All right, so generally we play with five heroes uh, in, a, in a standard kind of two-handed game. So that's three of them. Yeah, I'm assuming we're gonna have a nice round numbered team here with all of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Here's a Rocket Raccoon. If you have that symbol, you get plus one for each Master Strike in the KO pile, all right. Incoming Detector. Uh, this is an artifact when a master strike or villain's ambush ability is completed. You may gain a shard. Okay. Uh, to recruit, you may discard a card if you do draw a card. Uh, that's actually a handy little card there. And trigger happy. Uh, you gain a shard for each other hero you played this turn. Okay. So that is a rocket raccoon. And last but not least is Star-Lord. Okay, here is Star-Lord's big card, uh, which is an artifact. Once per turn, gain a shard for each artifact you control. That's interesting. Uh, here's another artifact. Once per turn, draw a card. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of artifacts out in this game, I'm assuming. Uh, another artifact, once per turn, gain a shard. I feel like Star-Lord's cards are nothing but artifacts. His lowest card is choose an artifact any player controls with once with a once per turn ability, play a copy of one of those abilities. Okay, again, no attack on him. So it's almost as if all of your attack needs to come from these shards. Okay, so here we go. Let's organize these a little bit. We have the Supreme Intelligence of Cree Mastermind. Um, the Supreme Intelligence gains a shard during its master strike, then each player reveals their hand and discards each card with cost equal to and cost one higher than the number of shards the Supreme Intelligence has. Uh, I'm not going to spoil all of his fight cards, but uh, there they are. He's basically like a nine attack villain there. And then we have, obviously, with the infinity gems comes Thanos. Look at that, 24 plus. Um, Thanos gets minus two attack for each infinity gem artifact card controlled by any player. Each player reveals their hand and puts one of their non-gray heroes next to Thanos in a bound souls pile. Wow. 24 seems intense. Um, so this pack comes with four new schemes to play. So we'll have to decide on which one of these we want to play. Um, let's see here. Forge the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, always include the Infinity Gems. Starting to your left and going clockwise, the first player with an Infinity Gem artifact card in play or in the discard pile chooses one of those Infinity Gems to enter the city, then put a shard on each Infinity Gem in the city. Okay, Intergalactic Kree Negabomb. Shuffle this twist into the Negabomb deck, then reveal a random card from that deck. If it's a bystander, rescue it. If it's a twist, KO it. KO all heroes from the HQ, and each player gains a wound. The Kree Scroll War. Um, twist one through seven, all Kree and Scrolls escape from the city. Okay. 
Okay. And unite the shards. Uh, stacks, stack this twist next to the scheme. Then for each twist in the stack, the mastermind gains a shard. Okay. Hmm. Then we have the actual gems. So, yep. One, two. Oh, there's multiple of those. Hmm. Let's see here. We have the mind gem. power gem. Now both players and villains, masterminds I believe, can control these. Uh, the reality gem. A second reality gem, which is interesting. The soul gem. Space gem. And another space gem. And the time gem. Okay, so this is like a uh, villain modular deck set. And the other one uh, appears to be the Kree Star Force. So not nearly as many kind of minion sets, villain sets in this expansion. So Captain Atlas, Demon Droid, Dr. Minerva, Karath the Pursuer, Ronan the Accuser, seems like he should get his own mastermind deck. Uh, Shatter Axe and Supreme War twice. Okay, well that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Not a whole lot here, so let's go ahead and set up. We are going to go with Forge the Infinity Gauntlet. So let me get this set up uh, with the necessary base game content and we will show off some of the gameplay. All right, we've got everything sleeved up here and ready to go. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, well, actually, before we get started, these shards over here have various numbers on them and colors, which as, as far as I can tell, the colors don't mean anything, at least not in this version, they're not going to. But say, for example, on one side it's a three, and on the flip side, it's a one. Um, or here it's a five and a one. Here it's a one and a two, a two and a one. Um, they explicitly say if you, if there's no shards to draw, you don't get a shard. I know that I, I saw a lot of people posting on board game geek and stuff that they use things like dice as counters and things like that. Um, but it seems like this is a finite resource. But basically, what I'm going to be doing is if I have a single shard. I'll do it on this side, but say I have three, I'll find a three over here and put it in front of me, and I have to, if I have to make change, I'll, I'll do that. So um, if that is not how you're supposed to play, uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments section below. But uh, as far as I can tell, that's why there's different numbers on them. All right. So player on the left here will be first player. Player on my right will be second player. Let's see who we get. And we start off with a scheme twist. So uh, this says, starting to your left and going clockwise, the first player with an Infinity Gem artifact card in play or in their discard pile chooses one of those Infinity Gems to enter the city, then put a shard on each Infinity Gem in the city. So that actually is super helpful that that came out uh, early. So there we go. All right. So uh, this is not going to be a video covering how to play um, Guardians of the Galaxy, or I mean Marvel Legendary really, um, other than stuff that is specifically new to Guardians of the Galaxy. So I have two fight here, which I cannot do anything with, and four recruit. So who do we want here? We've got Groot, when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw an extra card. I do like that. Um, or this one uh, allows you to gain shards based on having played Guardians of the Galaxy Heroes. I think I'm going to go with the extra card draw for now. All right. And one, two, three, four, five, six should be. And then we go up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, Sentinels, that's our henchmen group. I know they're not fun, but I hear Thanos is super difficult on his own. So 
I picked a super easy henchman. All right. Um, again, I have a fight that I can't do anything with. And one, two, three, four, five, recruit. So we can go Groot again. Um, so now this guy pairs up with the other Groot symbol I already have. So I'm thinking villain gets a shard. I'm not a super big fan of that card, period. So I think we're going to go Rocket Raccoon over here. Ooh, there's Star-Lord's big card. All right. Um, well, let's see what this is going to be. It's a scheme twist. Okay, perfect. We know what that is. Nobody has any uh, Infinity Gems. So let's go right back here. I've got two attack. Now this is where, in an instance, if I had a shard, even just a single one, I could make three and defeat this Sentinel. But I don't. So... Uh, again, these are useless, and I've got four recruit again, so I think we will stick with building up our Groot deck over here. Make that pretty easy. Give these a shuffle. Okay, so what do we got this time? All right, finally somebody else coming out. Ambush, another villain in the city gains two shards. Okay, so I'm going to do this with the villains because if I defeat this sentinel, I'm actually going to get one of these and the other one goes back to the supply. Um, so there we go. But he's now five. So I need to start building up my shards again. My three attack is useless against him because he is now a five attack. And then three recruit. Um, hmm. Oh, gosh. I think I'd rather just have this for now. All right. And this side needs to shuffle. And so Thanos, eventually we're going to start seeing Infinity Chems come out here as villains. We want to definitely make sure we take care of those um, because those in our possession are going to reduce Thanos' massive 24 health there. Um, all right. All right, so here is one of those. These enter the city just like a normal villain does. It has an ambush effect. Uh, gains a shard. For each scheme twist in the KO pile okay and or stacked next to the scheme so it's actually gaining two because we have two scheme twists all right messing with our mind so this is now an eight that we need to use to defeat it okay so I've got my Groot card here when I draw up I'm gonna be able to draw seven uh, unfortunately, that plus these three is not getting me enough to do anything again. And then just three recruit power. Hmm. Again, I think I'm just going to go officer. All right, but I get seven cards this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're back over here. All right, scheme twist. No Infinity Gems out in front of me, so I'm good. All right. Um, I have Rocket Raccoon. Unfortunately, I don't have any other uh, Guardians of the Galaxy people, so I don't gain a shard. Two, three, four. So again, not getting me anywhere. Um, not, a, some, not, a, not a whole lot of good synergy here. Oh, uh, so I think, yeah, we're going to stick with this being the Rocket Raccoon deck over here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Over here. And we have another Scheme Twist. Well, that's fine. It's actually kind of good that these are all coming out early. All right. Um, 
unfortunately I'm not going to get the bonus from that. So it's really just two and three. I cannot get any power going here. Oh, I actually have four. But again, not enough to take any of these people out. I need to get some shards. Oh, gosh. All right, so I need more punch on this side. I've got four recruit. But no punch I can recruit. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. It's just over here. I don't know why I want to give a villain a shard other than the fact that I would get to claim it if I defeat him. It just makes him that much harder and I'm really struggling to get some good power out here. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, another sentinel. Okay, uh, and of course I only have one single attack, so that's not doing me any good. But I've got one, two, three, four, five recruit. Um, yeah, I think we're definitely going to have to go here, and I guess we will claim this one as well for five total. It'll help mix up the market, but hopefully those cards come out together. here we need to shuffle so for example these two star lord cards here are artifact cards so when i play them they'll actually stay put out in front of me um, and i can activate them each turn so like this one draw a card is super nice or gain a shard which is amazing but that's his big time card so all right back over to here we are dealing with another person here so also if i let this guy escape with these shards they're going to thanos uh, at least one of them is going to thanos so let's see here i've got this card again unfortunately i don't have anything else to synergize with it i have two three so at least finally i'm going to be able to fight this guy I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We will KO him. Um, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, recruit. Three, four, five. So close. Um, so I think we're gonna take Rocket here and I will KO this fellow. All right, so at least I left some space, so this guy isn't gonna go out on me next round. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so what do we got now? All right, so here is another gem. Uh, ambush, play another card from the villain deck. Time gem, gain shards equal to that card's printed victory points. Ugh, okay, so that is gonna push this guy out. That's going to give Thanos um, a gem, the sentinel escapes, well no, actually it doesn't escape, it will now. And this thing is going to gain three infinity, or three shards. And this guy comes out, okay. All right, man, ooh wee. It is hard to get going in this game, and here we have again, this is just an awful, awful start here one two three four five so this is worthless and i have five recruit um i really want to give this to him so let's go ahead and purchase this one and there's that and so then i guess i will purchase this one as well drop one two three four five six all right back over to here alright so escaped villain push 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 uh, ambush each Cree villain in the city gains a shard 
Okay. Push, push. Does that include her? Including this villain? Yes, of course it does. Look at all these shards out there. And of course, none of my combos have come up yet, so I really just have one, two attack, which is doing me absolutely nothing. And three, four, five again, which at least I can get Groot here and draw seven now this turn. So one, two, three, four, and we need to shuffle. Now I don't know what is supposed to happen with the Infinity Gem if it escapes, other than the fact that I don't get it. I guess maybe Thanos already controls it. One, two, three. But I'm pretty sure this one's going to push out now. Yep. So this goes on Thanos. That goes back to the supply. And we will keep track of escaped gems there. So this one says... Uh, reality gem gains shards for each infinity gem villain card in the city or in the escape pile. Okay, so we can just keep it there. So one, two, um, all right, so just two. All right. All right, I finally got some better cards here. So. Um, let's see here. I'm going to play this here. Villain gains a shard. So, I guess we'll give it, hold on. Am I able to defeat this guy this time? One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So I can defeat him right now. So I'm going to give you the shard. All right. Villain gains a shard, but then I'm going, I'm able to play Gamora here. So I gained two shards, but I already played that one, so I'm gaining three shards. I'm just going to put that like that. And then I am going to play Rocket here. Uh, you gain a shard for each other uh, hero you played this turn. So I played two others. So boom. All of a sudden now, I have a decent, uh, some decent attack stats here. So these, this card's essentially done. I've played that card. I now have four attack, plus I can use this, and three recruit. Um, so four, I could go ahead and take this guy out, or I can take out one of the infinity gems which I think would be pretty good. This one is a seven, that one's a nine. I'm at four right now. This could get me to seven, so let's do that. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and claim this one. So we will spend our three, but we'll gain one of those shards. This other one goes to the supply. This goes into here. So I'll know it's coming up, but that's fine. And then three recruit. I don't really want to flood my hand with officers here. Um, wait, this says fight. Put this into your discard pile as an artifact. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think I, yeah, well, why not? All right. One, two, three, four, five. Of course, I have to shuffle. And I'm pretty sure that these uh, shards are not like a shared resource. So I'm going to have to keep them separated. Okay, so I'm feeling a little bit better now. A little bit better about ourselves. All right, Sentinel coming out. That's pretty good. Um, again, I do not combo this card. 
feel like I'm seeing the same exact cards here, but I at least have four attack there. So I'm going to be able to hit this guy, which means I'm going to claim this there. And I'm done with these now. I got his shard. And I have five recruit, which I guess will go with Groot. Even though that card would have been better on that side, but One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so what do we got now? Master Strike. Uh, each player reveals their hand and puts one of their non gray heroes next to Thanos in a bound souls pile. Okay, reveals a non gray hero. Okay, so I am losing, unfortunately, Maria is a gray hero, so I'm losing Rocket over here, and my good Groot card I needed over there. All right, so where were we? We were over here on this side. Um, ugh. All right, so now I just have one attack, which will be worthless, and five Recruit. We've seen this before. Um, so I guess let's just go ahead and add this one. I could have gotten to two attack, but I'm still not doing any good. One, two, three, four. Shuffle. All here let's see what we're dealing with another master strike well I actually have no <laughs> people over here um, over here though I have some choices so I have another Groot card um, this is an artifact card I actually like this one better though so there you go that doesn't go over there Ugh. okay so we were over here on this side now. So I've got one, two, and I can make it four. That's not getting me there. Five. I could take her out and I would gain the shard. Or I could just save the shard. Yeah, and take just spend one to take out this guy. All right, so those are used, and then I have four recruit. We will go this way, since I keep losing all of my guardians. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, over here, got some space in the city again. Another sentinel, I am okay with that. We've got Groot here, and we've got these guys. So three, I can get to four. So I don't need to use it. I will take that guy out. I'll be able to draw seven cards and a measly two recruit. It's not getting me anything. All right. Back over here again, scheme twist. Okay. Uh, starting to your left and going clockwise, the first player with an Infinity Artifact card in play or in their discard pile, hold on, chooses one of those Infinity Gems. I have an Infinity Gem, the only one I've claimed in my hand. It is not in my discard pile. It is not in play. So this actually goes away. I need to keep be able to count them so um, with no effect somehow somehow i got away with that all right so i've got my infinity gem card here this one will sit right up here before you play a card from the villain deck you may first reveal the top card of the villain deck if it's not a scheme twist you may put it on the bottom of the villain deck if you do gain a shard all right and that's only i'm assuming this second player here 
Um, all right, so I have to play you, and I have to give a villain a shard. So I guess we'll just spread them out. And so then that's going to give me four, five, six recruit. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go here. And then just one attack. I could use that to make it three, but that's not going to get me anywhere. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And over here. What do we got? Another sentinel. Oh, you know what? I forgot to be able to KO a hero these last two turns. So. KO you and KO you. All right. Okay. Now we're all caught up. Let's see here. Player, I don't have one of those cards, so we'll definitely play this guy first. Gain two shards. All right. Um, here's a two. You may spend shards to get uh, recruit this turn. Okay. And then I also have rocket here. You may gain a shard for each other hero you play this turn. So there we go. Um, all right. So this actually isn't doing anything else other than reminding me I can recruit with that shard. But right now I have two, three, four. Can I get to seven? Yes, I can. All right. Put a shard on each hero in the HQ. When a player gains that hero, they gain the shard. If that hero leaves the HQ some other way, return the shard to this point. Okay. So I do like this. I'm going to take out uh, Shatterax here. He's going to go up there, and I get to go like so. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 I like that, okay? So I'm pretty much done with you here, and now I've got two, four, five, I could make it six. Um, This one's not the end of the world here because it's four attack. So yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Of course, always one short. This is a great card. So is this one actually. Yeah, it might have been a mistake grabbing this card. All right, six. Okay, what are we dealing with here? Space gem. Uh, space gem gains a shard for each empty space in the city. So one. All right. So it's up to six. Let's see here. Um, very similar to what I just played. I have to give a villain a shard. So we will give it to you. I get to gain a shard this so I'll just make change here like that oh you know what I should have revealed it but that's fine I kind of want it up there I actually want the infinity gem up and so then I have three attack I could get all the way up to six so I think we will go ahead and I get to gain this and this goes into my discard pile. 
and I'm done with these guys. And so now I have two, three, four, six recruit. Um, yeah, I think this is too good to pass up here, so blop. So right now, he is a 26 minus those two because I have this. So he's still 24. I'm not even close to being anywhere to striking him. All right. Um, let's see what we got here. Ambush. Each player may draw a card. Karath gains a shard for each card drawn this way. not going to do it. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. Although... Yeah. Not going to do it. Okay. So here, I uh, can just play that along with these two take out this sentinel I will be able to KO one of my heroes here um, one two three four five recruit I definitely want to pair these together I can KO you one two three four five six all right, now I can look at the top card here. It is another space gem. Um, sure, why not? I get a shard for this. Before you play a card from the villain deck, you may first reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's not a scheme twist, you may put it on the bottom of the villain deck. If you do, gain a shard. Okay, so I think I have to, I still have to reveal another one. And it is a sentinel. And I gain a shard. Okay. Alright, so here we go. I'm gonna have to put you out. And somebody's going to gain a shard. We will give it to the sentinel here. And then this is going to give me three shards. And then, so I'm done with this card. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. like this one there's three spent I guess maybe this one okay and now the question is do I want to spend some of this um, to gain, I could, I think I could just use this for fight. I don't, or is it a plus one? I think I actually have to have something I can fight with. So, never mind. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Let's see what we got here. Power gem. So things are getting full in here. Uh, power gem gains a shard for each master strike in the KO pile. So there's 
three of them. So I'm going to do one, two, like so. Okay. Um, let's see here. I feel like I've seen these cards before. Gain two shards. So what's on this side? Okay. Uh, you may spend shards to recruit this turn. But now I have one, two, three. I can gain another one. Four. And then four recruit. Okay. Um, so this is four, seven, eight. I could get up to so let's actually recruit this guy first. That's going to give me nine. So four plus five is nine, and that's 10. So I can take out this one. Yep. All right, we're good. Okay, all right, we're just gonna finish out the second player's turn here, and then we will finish the rest of this playthrough up on an extended playthrough. So, uh, I get to peek here and see what we see. Um, Supermore and the Mastermind each gain a shard. I don't really want that. So let's park you at the bottom. We will gain a shard for doing so. I actually had to have spent all but one of that um, and now let's deal with this guy Captain Atlas gets plus one for each shard on the mastermind okay so he is at a eight right now okay but I've got quite the collection here now um, hmm before I play that, I'm going to play this for one, and then I can get, that's four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Five, six, seven, so let's do this. One, four, five, six, seven, Eight. So if I KO this guy first, that means I needed to have given up this one. And I'll get to KO a hero at the end here. But I guess I've spent this guy now. But that's fine. We'll save those up for a bigger attack. Okay. And so now I have to give a villain a shard. I guess we will give it to you. And then that's two, four, six, eight. You better believe we are taking Star Lord here. And then I could KO you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's just see what we get here. Drax the Destroyer. All right, so we are going to pause there. Uh, and we will pick up the rest of this playthrough in an extended uh, playthrough video. I didn't want this one to get going on too long. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.